yesterday it snowed. Like, it is so strange. Look at all the birds. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Listen to the sounds of the birds. I l <laughs> and there's a train too. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. I just woke up, so if you see stuff on my eyes, know that I just woke up today. And I have some very good news I want to share with you, like really good news. So, I have been feeling not bloated, but when I put on my tights, um, it's been tight on my belly. And, I mean, I have more news later, but my husband was so confused that I was pregnant. But I was, I was curious, I was curious, and I had, had him get me like the pregnancy test for, from Daughtry. As you guys know, I get the ones from Dollar Tree because you don't want to be wasting more money on this and you're going to be negative. So I'm that impatient one, very, very impatient. So yesterday at night, Valentine's Day was yesterday. That's when I made a video yesterday, actually in the morning, talking to you guys, telling you guys about how I think I'm really struggling to get pregnant. I don't know what's going on because I've been... I've been not like I'm I'm not I'm not the one to use birth control. I've said that many times. So but I went marker like five months ago. For four months I've been just like not getting pregnant. So I was thinking that maybe it's my weight because I, I'm not too too overweight, but as you see me, I mean in my in the way I was before I had children, I think I'm on the oversight overweight side, but I'm not too too fat, but I'm I think I'm on the obese line. I think so. I was thinking that maybe because I'm fat, and I have a my my, my friend at um, New Zealand, and she, we always talked about this. Like, why am I not being pregnant? Just like maybe if you lose two more kg, maybe. I mean, we just talk about this a lot. That sometimes as women we get hindered by pregnancy, but in the meantime, I'm getting tight on my pants, and I'm I'm sorry, God, if I'm pregnant, I'm sorry. So. I just talk, told God, so like, maybe God just gave me three kids. I told my mom, I said, I don't know why I'm not being pregnant, maybe because I'm overweight. My mom said, just be thankful for the three that God has given you. And I'm, I am, of course, and I was going to be thankful, but I really wanted one more. So yesterday, my husband told me, I think you're pregnant with the way you're explaining yourself because I was tired, not only tired, I was having the problem on my belly to really like, I had to take my thing down to my, about my butt because it was just so uncomfortable. And I told my friend, my friend, I was, I was talking to my friend, my friend, um, I was lying down, but I was still wearing clothes. She said, why does your breast look like you're pregnant? And I was like, oh, really? My husband said the same. She's like, yeah, you look like you're pregnant. And that stood to my head. I was like, okay. And then my husband came back with the boys and then he brought me the pregnancy test. I take it to test. It was very late. After I was done with all my video, my with all my video, on Valentine's Day, I'm telling you, like it was afternoon, like around 6 p.m. or 5 6 p.m. I don't know exactly the time, but um, it was around that time, like very late. But this, and I drink a lot of water. People say that when you drink a lot of water, your SCG will be lower during the day, so you're probably gonna test negative. So I test and I see a faint line, like two lines, and but it's so faint that I'm thinking that I'm crazy. So my friend, I call my friend. I said, girl, I just test She was so happy for me. I said, do you see the line? She said, yeah, I see a faint line. And um, my husband, I show, my husband says that he sees face, faint line. So all of us at this point, we're convinced I'm pregnant. So I'm, I'm putting it on the counter in the bathroom, waiting for it to get darker and and I'm, I'm, I'm going to work out because this pregnancy, if I'm pregnant, I'm not going to gain too much weight. I'm going to be so careful to make sure that I'm living as healthy as I can, even with food. If this is my fat, fat body, I'm not going to get fatter than this. That's going to be the goal. Um, but I'm not going to diet, of course. I'm going to be eating a certain amount of food. I mean, a certain amount of healthy food. I'm going to be very, very careful because I don't want to be like ballooned like I was with the twins. Um, so... I will go to work out and then I come back like, oh, it's time to get to see the pregnancy test. Guess what happened? My son took it, played with water in the sink, poured water on it. And no, the faint line was gone. 
so I was so disappointed so it's now negative again because my son poured water on it but to, I have one more pregnancy test I don't want to test today because I don't want to be asking you guys do you see the thing line so tomorrow because I think then the HCG will be a lot higher tomorrow no I did not buy the expensive one that says pregnant or not pregnant tomorrow I'm going to be testing again <laughs> And then I'll be showing you guys how it looks like. I am convinced it's positive. I'm proud of I mean, you can put your congratulations. But it's the Dollar Tree one. And one time when I was still in Arizona, it said positive, and then it was negative. But based on my feelings, my nipple, my breasts, my belly, the way they're behaving, I think it's positive. And I'm so excited, guys. If it's positive, tomorrow's gonna be the D day to really find out. So am I pregnant? I think yes yes i'm pregnant but am i 100 percent no because i did not get the one because this, this is the thing why can't they sell one the one that said pregnant the digital one for one dollar because those are like ones are like seven dollars i'm not spending seven dollars on pregnancy tests one dollar i can get seven of them so tomorrow is the day i'm so excited i'm so excited i really am this is the day this is the day and I'm, i feel bad because sometimes this happens a lot i'll just be saying I'm just be like somehow being sad that God did not do something for me and on the exact same day it will happen. I can think of many things many times. Everything it happens. God answers that time. It was the day also that I was complaining, complaining that oh I'm not getting pregnant. I, I don't think God is so on my side this time. Or maybe God just wants three. Boom. The same day I get pregnant. So I'm sorry to God for sure that I sometimes doubt ahead of time. And it was only four months um, ahead of the pregnancy. So I should not have complained much. Good morning everyone. Um, so it's still morning. Right now it's after six. I tried to force myself to sleep. I could not sleep. Um, I woke up around four, so I couldn't sleep. I was like, you know what? Maybe I should just go out and just edit one of my videos and just like update you guys what's going on. So I am very convinced that this is pregnancy is really in because my insomnia is out of this world. And with michael i don't know if i had insomnia but i remember it very clearly with the twins but the nice thing about then is that i did not have children so what i did i did not sleep i had a hard time really sleeping but when my husband went to work he lives with me by myself at home i'll have the time to sleep during the day but now i mean I, my husband still tried to let me to sleep but i just feel that it's not like the same if you know what i mean because i have to wake up in the morning my husband and i we both teach the kids i take over the cycle time and then he takes over the reading the phonics and all that speak of the phonics um i received some of the comments saying that you shouldn't teach your children letters i mean sounds first you should teach them letters first let me tell you i did my research if you feel that way please understand that i've heard that many times i've heard people saying that i need to teach them let sound letters like a b before sounds that's not how it works um if you want them to read so that's why i'm doing this trust me when i do something i've done an ample of research so yeah that's what's going on so right now i'm editing one of my videos um and <laughs> i'm excited guys i'm very very excited um it's crazy it's crazy what is going on um i was gonna test my pregnancy the day before i mean yesterday but i didn't i'm probably gonna test today um later if i if i pee because i peed first thing because i couldn't wait to just look for something to pee on to test to test but what i'm gonna do i'm gonna wait for me to want to go to the bathroom again and i'm going to test and that's gonna be the video that's gonna seal it and if i'm pregnant in that video i'm going to be going to the see the birth center here or doctor i don't know who i'm gonna go with one of my main worries is that when i become pregnant one of the things that i really pray for is that god help me not to have a c-section um and i know a lot of women had to go through c-section without wanting it because of circumstances and with my circumstance of not having the legs i feel strongly that c-section will be hard and all my pregnancies god had answered my prayers every time i met an OBGYN, i'll give them my concern that you give me c-section after you have done 
everything in our power because I know this section is very very high here in the west than where i'm from back home this section is the last resort but here it feels like it's it's abnormally high i'll say abnormally high and i i always talk to the me my my doctors so here's the thing now i'm on oregon I don't know if I'm gonna find a good doctor that's gonna listen to that. So that's one of the things that my husband and I we are really talking about it. I'm worried about um, that if am I gonna find a good um, OBGYN that's gonna listen to my needs, and that's one that I'm so concerned about at this point because the the two ones that I had, the one that delivered the twins, because a lot of people actually assume that I had the twins with C-section. No, and. <laughs> It was the Lord's doing, and I, I, I mean, it was it was an appointed time by the Lord, and a lot of women have C-section with twins, and me in my situation, especially, a lot of people thought that I would have um, the the. I'll have the C-section, but my, my doctor, my doctor, oh my goodness, how I love her. Um, she listened, and we worked together, and she was able to deliver my twins. Michael, the same thing. I took, it was the, because at that time, it was my, my, my first OBGYN had taken a long leave. So she suggested this second one, the doctor. I had the same talk. And I said, no C-section, please. And she did it for me. So with this one, I'm in a different space. And we're going to think about it. We're going to think of it through. And I'm going to look for the doctor that has the least amount of C-section. And I'm going to be looking on that. So please keep me in your prayers on that. This time, I need my prayer people that believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to really pray that I find the right one because they are different. They are the ones that the baby, oh, the baby's head little like C-section, C-section. There are doctors like that. I do not want that route. I really pray to God that my husband and I, that is going to be the same smooth pregnancy with the other ones, but I'm convinced I'm pregnant. If you see this video before the next one, know that is positive. Um, I'm, I'm convinced. I'm very, very convinced. I still haven't technically missed my period yet because I'm, you know, I test early, but that line was very, very convincing and the way I'm feeling and with insomnia and right now my nipple is very painful. So that's a giveaway that I am pregnant. So I'm very excited. Uh, um, it's going to be a fun journey for sure. It's going to be that thing that is going to be like, yep. Yeah, of course it has destroyed my some of my plans of going to Africa because I don't think I'm gonna go to Africa at the point at this point. But you know what? It is ex it is my number one thing that I wanted because I always pray to God to give me kids in my early thirties so that I can be strong to raise them. That's what I've always prayed for. But I believe that God is giving me them to me at the time that I want and. I'm going to talk to you in next videos. I don't want to be talking a lot of nonsense. I'm already like talk, 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 talk. But thank you. And thank you so much for the congratulations.